You ever just had a dream for a long time and all of a sudden you're doing it? Feels good. It does feel good. Hey, what's up guys? I'm back for my fifth video. Hey, you know what? This might be my sixth. I'm here to do this wonderful veneer table. Just really thin piece of real wood over the top and then like a uh, particle board or uh, plywood. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's particle board underneath that. I'm just gonna get started. I uh, have my handy dandy explanation sheet right here that Mark made up for me. So that sheet's what I'll be referring to the whole time. So let me talk you through how to do this. Number one. First, I need to get started with some solvent, which uh, I guess is paint thinner. I've got some of that. Ha <laughs> ha. Step two. Once I've got it degreased, I'm gonna use my orbital sander with 220 grit sandpaper to just quickly and lightly go over the top of this table and just take off any of the remaining finish along with the sides and the front and underneath here as well. Step three, I'll be putting a bonding sealer over the top of the newly sanded and wiped surface so that I'll be able to put on a nice paint and let that actually sit over the top. And fourth and final step, I'm going to be painting the top of this. I'm not going to be leaving the legs all undone, I'm going to be painting that white. I, I feel like it's going to look really trendy. I'm going to have these white base legs, charcoal colored top, which uh, I, I call it charcoal. It's really just a dark gray. And step five. Let's get to it. about it that's scary until you actually do it. It's not hard at all. You just start going and then the wheels start turning. You just do it. It just feels good. Try it. Try doing something you're afraid of. <laughs> Found a piece of tape. Ah, yes. Right there. And so here's the table before I do anything to it. Still got a little bit of shine in it. I believe what happened to this tabletop is the mom tried to iron her clothes up on top of it, just set her clothes down right on the top and started ironing. Now, so you can really see how bad that finish was taken off of it. Like, look at this whole area. Basically no finish left in some places. Since this is veneer and it's only either 16th or an 18th of an inch, thick of wood, I definitely don't want to sand down through it. So my game plan is just to go fast. Just, uh, well not super fast, but I mean, I'll, I'll kind of get the feel for it as I go. All right, here we go. Like to use this sander, you can 
literally buy it for yourself for like 30 or $35 on Amazon. Super cheap, I've got the link in the description. Make sure to get a good brush so that doesn't happen. This one that I'm using was a uh, $2, maybe three. Now, with my hindsight, I can say more confidently that uh, a better brush is probably the way to go. Do you want me to help you? Would you like to? Okay, so here's a perfect opportunity to teach you guys. So right here on the edge of the table, I accidentally kind of scraped the brush over it and let, uh, let some paint build up and kind of roll off and it kind of started dripping on the floor, which in this case is fine because I have plastic down and I'm going to be painting this edge so that I get a more perfect 90 degree angle finish on the edge rather than like rolled corners, then brush off the table rather than into when you're on the edge. smoother. 
If you want to see how much smoother a roller is versus a brush, just look at that. Huge difference. Goodness, that is a lot, a lot smoother. Oh yeah, I like that so much more. And on the edges too, if you look at this edge, nice and close, I mean, you can see the brush strokes in it. Then again, I didn't get a super expensive brush. But as soon as you come over to the side that I use the roller, man, it's just a solid line all the way across. Man, tiny rollers for the win. Valspar, good job making those tiny rollers. That is, it's turning out so much cleaner, so much nicer. Let's keep going. I got some other stuff to do today and that needs to dry so i'll be back tomorrow which is right about now but i'm in a slightly different spot so here i am day is this two or three it's time for me to get back over this and paint it with my second coat which is technically my third coat because i already went over it with a brush but now i get to do it again with the roller so Second time on the roller, third time overall. Let's hope it turns out really, actually, not let's hope. I already know it's gonna turn out really good, judging by the way it is now. Then after that, finally, I get to get down here and paint the legs and the base, well, basically the whole base of the table. Finally get to paint it white. Hopefully I don't get uh, too many distractions from Ollie today, cause um, he's been a little wild. In case you're wondering, yeah, it's our Halloween candy, and I'm getting into it early, but I don't care. It tastes good. And just like that, the top is done. Okay, no, it's not done. I still need to do the polycrylic finish. But, uh, for the most part, I mean, just, just speaks for itself, I think. I mean, here's a, a quick flashback to the before picture. And here is the after. Now, I mean, I'm, I'm not done with the polycrylic coat and the base isn't painted, but man, is that looking a lot better. Ugh. All right, well, let's do the base. I made on the table for this week. Uh, thank you so much for making it all the way to the end and in the next video or in the next few videos at least I'll be releasing the uh, dining chairs. I had no idea how long the dining chairs were going to take and I, I didn't even realize how long the table itself was going to take so that's definitely in the near future but uh, not right now. Not right now! So if you're not a subscriber already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and leave a like, leave a comment, uh, leave me a present, sing me a song. Or anyway, thanks for watching all the way to the end. See you in the next video.